Hey guys, Chris here from Hockey Tutorial, and today in this video I've got a bit of a DIY project for you. Now, a training aid that I've always wanted to pick up is one of those mock-up defensive players that has, you know, like the legs or the skate standing in a skating stance with a stick in front of them, and you're supposed to stick handle the puck around them, through their legs, over them. Now, it seems like a really practical training aid to have, and when I finally decided to go online and buy one, I was caught a little bit off guard by how much they cost, because it looks like quite a straightforward, very practical training aid, but I was unsure about why they cost as much as they did. So instead of just buying one, I thought that we'd challenge ourselves to seeing if we could make one and how well we could make one. I thought this would be a really fun project. If you remember last summer, we made, I guess, a little stick handling uh, training aid that you could fold away and unfold from broken sticks. So we wanted to do something similar to this one over here. This is a little bit more tricky in some areas, but it's a lot of fun. It's a very practical training aid that you can use off and on the ice. And it's a great way to motivate yourself to get outside and practice during the off season with a brand new training aid that you made yourself. Of course, we're gonna be showing you how to build one from scratch, how to make it sturdy, and of course, how to make the stick do this. Because this is one of the best things that this thing can do. So we're gonna show you the entire process in this video. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope this is gonna be something that will benefit you guys. Let's get into it, and we'll show you how to do it. So in terms of building one of these things, they're actually incredibly straightforward, and you need a few inexpensive items that you can pick up from pretty much any DIY store in most of the world. What we started off with was four pieces of wood, which were roughly 18 millimeters in thickness. Of course, you can use pretty much whatever type of wood that you'd like to, or any other materials that might be easier for you to get hold of. So it was four pieces of wood, one for each leg, two broken hockey sticks or old hockey sticks that we had, and then a couple of, I guess you could say, accessories like hinges and brackets that you can pick up again from any DIY store, of course, bolts and some screws. So everything here is incredibly inexpensive, and when you throw it together, you can see that you do have something pretty cool that you can actually use to not only keep yourself entertained during the summer, keep yourself outside, but most importantly, keep you practicing your hockey. So with the setup, all we essentially did was measured out the pieces of wood that we had. We figured out how long we roughly wanted each of the defensive player's legs, or the mock-up defensive player's legs, and marked it up on the wood from there, we just simply cut the wood, cut out the shapes that we needed to be able to build the rest of the training aid. The next step from here is to sand down the wood just to make sure that it doesn't have any sharp or jagged edges. And it's just nice and smooth to the touch. So if you're gonna be moving this training aid around, it just feels a lot better and it means that you're not gonna get splinters or any cuts in your hands. Now with regards to painting it, this isn't something that you need to do, it's just something that we chose to do because the fact that it's black means that if you hit it with a puck, especially when we're in a synthetic rink like we're in right now, you don't have to worry about puck marks on it because it's already black. And depending on what kind of color sticks that you have, it can actually look pretty sweet. So painting it depends on how much time you have. Of course, the paint itself will add a cost to the entire creation that you're making. And if you're trying to do this on a budget, then paint is definitely not something that you need. Once we'd done this, the next step was just to mark out onto the pieces of wood or the mock-up defensive player's legs where we wanted to have the brackets and the bolts attached. Now you can go with the exact same sort of setup that we have, or you can be creative if you have a slightly different way of doing it that might be better for yourselves. Of course, go ahead and do that. This is just, I guess you could say, an example of what you can do. Now for us, one of the tricky bits was figuring out how we wanted the entire frame to stand up and how much stick we needed to be able to use the training aid effectively because we needed to make sure that as much of the stick's blade would be in contact with the ground or the ice once it was ready. So we had to consider how much of a stick shaft we have to play with. Now this is why I suggest using an old or a broken stick, providing you have enough stick to be able to create a training aid of this size that's gonna work for you. 
You don't have to use an actual stick for the stick area of the training aid, this section right here. You could simply use a piece of wood or a piece of plastic, whatever you have that you can turn into this kind of a shape is good to go. We just happen to have two sticks that we could use that were broken and pretty much the ideal length for us to be able to build these. So that's what we did. So once you figure out how much spacing you want between each of the mock-up defensive player's legs, that's when you can start to kind of put the frame together. Now what we did is that we used a couple of brackets or you could say like support rods on the back of the training aid to make sure that the whole structure would be rigid. We didn't want it to be shaking and wobbling about because at the end of the day this is hockey. We're going to use this thing on the ice, off the ice, it's going to be moved around. We wanted to make sure that it was sturdy enough to be able to take that. Now once we'd gotten all of the brackets in we'd figured out exactly how much spacing we wanted between the legs. The stick was in contact with the ground, as much of the stick blade as we could get in contact with the ground. And of course it was able to swing back and forth. We essentially then just bolted and screwed everything together. Now one thing that we really wanted to make sure that this training aid would be able to do is fold or collapse away when it wasn't being used. Now that's why we used the hinges along the top sections of the training aid because it means that when we're not using it, we can just take out the bolts that hold up the brackets around the back section of the training aid and the whole thing just collapses in and it's nice and easy to store away. You can put it into a cupboard or you can put it into the trunk of your car nice and easily or you can just move it out of the way. guys thank you very much for watching this video hopefully we've shown you something that you can do during the off season to not only save you some money but hopefully give you a training aid that you might not have had before it's a lot of fun it's pretty straightforward to do make sure you grab some help either a friend or a family member because it is straightforward but it's a lot quicker if you have someone there giving you a hand as always if there's any other training aids you want to see us make comment down below and let us know what and if you make anything like this or the same one that we have here Make sure that you tag us so we can check it out at hashtag hockey tutorial or at hockey tutorial on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or you can e even email us the images if you'd like to. I'd love to see what you guys get up to during the summertime. But remember, it's the off season, so make sure that you find a reason to get outside and practice. This is the perfect time to do it. And with things like these, it makes it fun, it makes it easy. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you because we're now over 100,000 subscribers deep. Incredible. Thank you so much, guys. Thumbs up the video, keep subscribing, keep watching. Let us know what you want to see next and take care till next time, guys. Thank you so much and take care.